Rolf Road here. We got the 230 Breezeway 62, loaned to me by my boy Mike, Spirit of 1876. That's nine numerical characters I just hit you with. Be a lot of numbers in this video, so get your notepad. Start opening this baby up, eh? You have four Velcro straps. While you're over here, get uh, about a sixth of your zipper done. are beefy, they are high quality, they are smooth running. Close your corner. Last bit here. One more Velcro. Take it all the way out. Ooh. Here. come with this they're for the awning we had some severe wind last weekend then you of course need to run the perimeter get all your flappy jabbies down oh yeah that's real nice oh there you go looking pretty good Grab yourself two of these. There you go. Deploy. Shoes off in the tent. Shoes off. Now, obviously, you can do this from outside and keep your shoes on, but I find it to be kind of a pain. So, here we are, getting the last two poles in. Uh, and there you go. See on the other side. Then just a little bit of tidying up. I like to watch the paint. Put them over here, over the back, and the awning and shove them onto my roof. Then you have this. Wow, what an issue. Now you can slide this out of the track, which I am reluctant to do because I fear that I will never get it back in. So I'll show you what I do. Okay. This is impossible to roll up normal style by yourself. So I throw a little triangle over get started down here. Tuck it. And shove it. Shove it in there. Here. And there you go. You got your doors. You can use your windows. So far I've slept five nights in here. And this is my eighth time opening it. I told you there'd be a ton of numbers in this thing. Let's go over my uh, first five impressions, I guess. Okay, so there it is. Obviously, Rainfly deploys when you unfold the tent. You have these two vents on either side. So four total, six windows, two on this side, two on the other side, and then the two doors, obviously. And then this Rainfly has four triangle windows, which you can also unroll if you wish. Velcro's down. Over here you have your mesh, and then obviously storm flap style. That rolls down, zippers on either side, 
This ladder seems to be very high quality. Okay, once inside, you can see why they call this thing the breezeway. You have the six side windows I mentioned, plus this, it's not really a skylight because the rain flies there, but I suppose you could take it off in uh, guaranteed good weather, but maximum breeze. It's uh, really cool in here. Every window has a uh, storm flap and a mesh and clips for both. I just haven't rolled that one up, but that's why you do it right there, baby. Now, like I said, I spent five nights in here. First thing I noticed is this mattress. Very high density foam. Oh, I can't even get into it. This mattress makes me want to get a stiffer mattress at home. That's how much I appreciated it. Um, second thing I noticed is this massive size. This thing is eight feet long by 62 inches wide. What's that mean? That means you can get you, your wife, her boyfriend, and his dog in here and still be relatively comfortable depending on the situation. A couple more things. You do have a channel here. There is an annex you can add on. Back to this bag. This is very thick, very nice, some kind of rubberized material. They also made it slightly oversized. People were sick of this being such a pain to pack up and they thought, why don't we make the bag a little bigger? And uh, it definitely shows. We'll see it later, but pretty easy to pack up. Fly is uh, thicker than most um, tents I've used in the past. And then the main tent canvas, very good, very thick, all taped up, real nice zippers, no problems, no snags. But the sickest thing about this tent is the LST. What's LST? Light suppression technology. Let's check it out. It's currently 11 a.m. here, Conifer, Colorado. And I'm gonna show you what makes this thing insane. You ready for it? Look at that. You can't look at anything because it's pitch black in here besides the tiny vents on either side. You're looking at me right now. Can't do it. I could have just gotten in the nude right now. Demonetized because it's pitch black in here, all right? Can't even figure out how to get out of here. There we go. It's so dark. It's really unreal. Ugh. Now, they call it light suppression technology, but it's also a uh, temperature suppression technology. They claim it's 20% cooler in here. I've never been good with percentages of temperatures, but I can tell you firsthand, I came in here to uh, get my keys out and it was drastically cooler. It was extremely noticeable it is much cooler um love that the only problems i have with it are with all rooftop tents they're high if you're trying to fit into a garage i did not notice anything with gas mileage i picked this up in castle rock drove you know whatever half hour home and i finished with 23 miles per gallon so no problem there somehow. They are top heavy. This one's 143 pounds, I believe. I notice it in the corners. And then I like to show up to camp, set up, get bored, and then go preview the trail we're doing the next day. That wasn't really an option. I wasn't gonna refold this up. But once it's set up, I mean, it's so big and it's so good. I don't know. You just have to make the call if a rooftop tent is for you, but if it is, this is a great option. I mean, for the price, definitely one to check out. The vents are good. It's a sensory deprivation chamber for sure. The first night I slept in it was cold. I had a tiny bit of condensation, like a one foot square on one of the walls. One thing I forgot to mention is I do like how this serves as an awning. Um, so I kind of have awning on either side pretty cool but for now just show you how this thing packs up when 
you start compressing this, it presses the locks of the next rung so that you can just fold it up, you know, in like one push. That's it.